If you have a BMW F20 or F30 with the N13 engine, make sure that you change this part before it's too late. Hello guys and welcome to Best Speedrun. So if you have an N13, I recommend that you would change this part here before it's too late. BMW called it the filtered air pipe. So this is the part here, okay? Um, as you can see, it's connected to the air filter box and it goes all the way to the turbo. And as you can see, um, just here, my one has split, which is not ideal, but luckily it split in my hands, not while it was running. Otherwise, all this plastic would go in the turbo and cause some damage. If you want this part here, the part is 13717597586. Okay, so, and it's best to buy from BMW. So the first job is to release the plug on the hot film air mass filter. Okay, there it is, just there. Let me quickly do the fine tune. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Here's a better view of it. Let me just unplug it and stick it behind here so it doesn't get caught. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all these, <laughs> all these little areas where they're built up with dust because it's disgusting and it makes it much easier to release the tabs next time. So, to release this plug, what you need to do really is push up this little bit here. Can you see it? You push it up like that and, it, and when you pull at the same time, the plug should slide out. If you find it quite difficult, you can use a screwdriver to gently push it up and slide it out. So, what you need to do next is to release this clamp here. You can use a flathead screwdriver or a six millimeter socket. Here's a different angle of that clip, okay? Just there. So next what you need to do is release this pipe just here. So um, what you can do is pull this pipe out of these clips, or we can just remove the clips. It might be easier, to be honest. One, two, and three. Okay. Oh, that one there is easy, just to push like that and lift out. There you go. When this pipe is safely out of the way, you need to remove the air box casing, okay? So what you need to do is pull on these three points here to disconnect it from the car, okay? So, as shown, <laughs> so. One, two, and this one over here. Three, there you go. So the next step is to remove this here, being careful not to damage the pipe down there and being careful not to damage all this area, so yeah, be very gentle. When the box is out, hold the main pipe, give it a good old wiggle, being careful not to damage this. And it will disconnect. To be honest, I think that you could probably do this job without moving this air box. Um, but I did it for easier filming and um, yeah, to check the rest of the engine. Also, to be honest, I would move this plug here just in case you pull it off or break some wiring or something like that. Put that over there somewhere safe. And then, <laughs> as you can see closer now, my pipe is completely knackered. The next stage is to remove this clip here. You can either use a seven millimeter socket or a trusty flathead screwdriver. To be honest, it's probably much easier just to use a flathead screwdriver as it saves you um, keep looking around and around and around 
for your socket set. Well, your socket set and your sockets, whatever you're looking for. There you go. Da -da -da -da. The next stage is to remove this clip here, which is supposed to be an easy <laughs> remove clip, but I'm not sure if it is, to be honest. Let's try. Aha. Okay, so what you need to do is squeeze these two clips in. Well, what you need to do is oh, to push these two ribbed areas in as hard as you can. So these two bits here expand and yeah, it will basically help you release that clamp. When that pipe's removed, you will need to remove this pipe here. Be careful, it looks to be very brittle and looks like it will break very easy. So. Be extremely careful. I'm trying to be careful not to snap that as it's plastic, not metal. <laughs> ah, there you go. Hopefully <laughs> this will make it much easier to explain. So as you can see, like the bigger clip, you can see that there's some ribbed areas just here and here. What you need to do is squeeze as hard as you can so it, it makes a circle shape, then the part will pull off easier. Yeah, so as, yeah, as I said before, this is horrible plastic. And I, it looks to be quite fragile. Mine seems to be okay. And also, be careful we don't damage this here. The next stage is to remove this part here, which was inside my old hose. Um, you can try and twist it and turn it, it might be stuck. So what I had to do, what I'm gonna do, is use this and try and gently lever it off. Um, hopefully it will come off easily. Be careful not to break or damage anything while doing this. Aha, there you go. Voila. Here is a close look at the inside of that old um, pipe. What I'm also going to do is to transfer this Jubilee clip onto the new hose. If the pipe flies into there, you'll get some damage, but luckily, mine looks to be good still. Phew. So what I'm going to do first of all, is make sure that this smaller part of the pipe is facing that way and the big part is facing that direction. And I'm going to connect this pipe here to the smaller hole, or the smallest hole on this pipe, okay? When it's on properly, you will hear a click, as you may have just heard then. Then what I'm gonna do is put this bigger pipe on in the same way. So this pipe here goes onto this. And when it's on, you will hear a click. There you go. <laughs> so both pipes are connected to this now. Now, before you put this on there, make sure you get your other Jubilee clip. Put it on there <laughs> and push this smaller end of the big pipe all the way on to the turbo, okay? So, before putting this big air unit into the, um, this space here, you need to make sure that this bit here, see this bit here, slides into that bit here like this. Boom. Okay, <laughs> it's quite hard to show you as I can't get any good camera views from that, but um, yeah, you need to do that. Plus also make sure that this pipe here is out of the way. Um, make sure that the, there's no clips or anything in the way and make sure that this isn't tight yet. Otherwise it may reduce your space, okay? Also, also what I'm going to do is 
change the air filter inside this box. I have made a video based on this um, procedure before, so if you want to see that, click on the link below. So let's have a go at putting this back in the hole. So before I fully push down on these three points here, I'm going to make sure that this goes onto this mass airflow sensor. There we are. So one second. It's so much more flexible than the old one. The other one was really hard and um, fragile. Okay, so when that's on there nicely, push down on the three areas. And voila, you are sorted. So, with that pipe down there connected, um, these three areas are pushed all the way home. What you need to do then is put this pipe back where it belongs. So, <laughs> so as you, um, and where's the other one gone? <laughs> so, if it falls out, this thing here, what you need to do is put it that way down so it connects into these little areas here. And you just push down, clip, and then what you do is you put the pipe here and voila, it's all, make sure it's all safe and out of the way. So now what you need to do is um, push this all the way that way as much as you can and tighten up this and with this one you need to push all the way this way as, as much as you can and tighten it up too. So the final stage is to put the two plugs back in, okay? So this one here um, has to be pointing this way, okay? So that little notch is like that, so it can go on like this, and you push it on and, okay, it's clipped into place. It won't move now. So here's the final stage. My phone battery just went out and yeah. <laughs> so basically when putting this on, the, um, the metal squeezy part of the clip needs to aim towards the front of the car. It will only go on one way. So you put it like that, you put it on like that, you push the uh, metal bit in, the metal spring in, and push down and voila, it's all in place. Anyway, I hope that video was of some use to you. Um, it's nice to finally do a video after all these months not doing anything at all really, um, apart from the brakes. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you want to see more F20, F21 content on my channel, feature in the F, featuring the M13 engine, feel free to subscribe. Anyway, take care and goodbye.